What topology should we start with? Hmm. Let's create a simple backend. That's, that'll get everything started, something we can connect to and get a page back. But what to create? Ah, I got it. We can use the HTTP service and data power. It is simple and allows us to use the data power that is part of the cloud pack for integration. Let's go set it up. Hello. Today I'm the data power administrator and I have gotten a request from some API developers that they need a loopback backend. <clears throat> so I'm going to use my IBM data power gateway. As you can see, running firmware IDG 10.0.2.0 and I'm going to create a domain and a loopback HTTP service. So let's do that. So first we're going to log in. And what we will then do is we're going to go to the configuration and kind of isolate this work. We're going to create um, their own application domain for them to work in. And just for simplicity, let's call this service. loopback. We're going to call this application domain loopback. Again, this provides a lot of the data power functionality where I can import, export domains. So we'll call this loopback. And we're just going to leave all the default settings and invisible application domain in is the default. So let's apply this. Obviously, this is a data power, so if you want to persist it, you need to do the save configuration to save that domain. So let's do that. Um, I could log out and log back in, but for simplicity, I'm just going to switch to my loopback. And it's a nice little feature that data power has where you can make, um, you know, just simulate a quick back end without even using some of their more extensive services. Um, so let's go to services, other services, and there's an HTTP service. Obviously, you know, the power of data power it can go take this and go to MQ. Um, it can <clears throat> proxy SOAP calls. It can proxy REST calls. Obviously, it's very powerful. But in this case, it's just going to get this in as a gateway, and it's just going to loop back um, a message that we'll put on there. So let me add the HTTP service. And I'll call this uh, HTTP loopback. I'm gonna, I just need some port that I will pass on to who's ever calling this. I'll use something, I'll use a well-known port, 999, anything under 1024. Mode is normal. And my start page is I just want to loop back. I'm doing this for my colleague Mark. So I'm going to say uh, I have a little file called Mark Hello World. Let's upload this. And let me grab that file. And I believe I called it Mark Text. Um, upload it. I want to use mode. There's an echo where I can um, just echo back what I got, but I'm going to serve this page up. And just to show you what this page looks like, it's going to just reply back with a hello world. And let me apply this. And I can now provide the, the host name and the port of 999 to my API developer, whoever wants to call this HTTP service, and I'll send back that message. So I'm going to provide this to my colleagues, and now they have a simple backend to test against. The last thing we need to do is export a few key files that we're going to need to import into our 
cloud pack. Remember, everything we've been doing now is on a development environment. The production environment is what we're going to run on our cloud pack for integration with the data power deploy. So in my file management, I need two files. I need my local file um, configuration, a local file, which is a mark.txt, which I'll use, as well as the configuration. And I find the easiest way is to uh, just bring it up, select all, and we'll put it into a file. as well as the mark.txt, which that one is pretty simple. And the last thing we need to do is when you bring the local files into your cloud pack, you need to have them tarred. And typically there's more than one. So we will tar this file. And there we have it. We're now ready to head over to our cloud pack and deploy our production data power. What we're going to do now is to deploy our data power through our IBM Automation UI as we have already deployed the cloud pack for integration. So what I will do is go to my hamburger menu and go to gateways. And the data power that is deployed through the cloud pack for integration is the production version. So we would have done our development like we did using the web UI. And at then point we exported the config file and the mark.txt, which we had the mark hello world in. Uh, and what we're going to do now is create config maps and secrets that we uh, use when we deploy our data plower. So let's create the instance. Quick start. And we'll call this Mark's DP. Accept our license. And we know from our deployment we had 10.0 dot two and what we need here as you can see we're going to need a secret for our login that we'll create as well as the domain so let's go over to a shell so now at this point let's generate our secret that we're going to need for the login so we now have a secret called admin credentials we now need some config maps one for the actual dot cfg of data power and the other for any artifacts so oc we'll call it loopback and we've saved that locally Okay, now we need to import our file. If you remember when we created the data power loopback service, we had a mark.txt. So let's create a config map for that. We'll call that mark. And we actually had to take that text file and all the local artifacts have to be tarred. So I simply hit tarred that file up and it's mark.tar. Okay, so just to go over what we did, we created a secret for our login to the data power. We created a config map uh, for the data power config for that application domain and the artifacts in that main domain we called mark.tar. So let's now go back and you can see for the user group and the secret we're going to need our admin credentials. Let's refresh our screen since we added those. And we will call this Mark DP, accept my license. 
Here's my admin credentials. Add our domain. We know we had the config map, which we called loopback. And the local options, we created the config map called mark that had the file that is need to send back. Okay, and we're going to name this domain loopback. And let's let's create it. As you can see now, I'm in the pending state. And you can now see we are in the ready state. Thank you, and I hope you can now see how you develop your data power configurations using a development environment and for the production use you deploy it into the cloud pack for integration gateway importing the configs and the secrets thank you